Um, so, okay, my previous partner and I, um, the reason that people couldn't understand why him, he picked a loser. Yeah, I know, but there are reasons that I pick certain people, including the, the baby's daddy, and, and why I honor them. And what I particularly honor is a partner that's willing to, to fight my war. And at the time, um, I was doing um, just some, some little bit of work in anti-human sex trafficking and then tra trafficking and you can read my articles at Paladin Project on their blog and stuff and just kind of got into researching about that and, and noting it and obviously you know I'm a survivor of an involuntary thing and um, so I oppose it and that's something that's a matter of the heart and um, what I liked about I don't want to be with my previous partner but what I liked about my previous partner is that he was uh, at least told me that he was uh against that and I kind of picked that up from other sources before he said anything and then I just I was wondering what was going on I kind of already had that on my very own and then when his friend and I were talking and I analyzed his friend's body language I realized that guy's not lying and anyway I don't want to get too into the details but basically he was in 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 so he says opposing the industry however he didn't mind to get his dick wet during the process he deposed it professionally. He was neutral, personally, okay? Unfortunately. However, he did emphasize some points that made me think that he could be very useful to me to fight um, certain um, things in the industry that need to be fought. That's why I was primarily with him. And then, of course, you know, just the things that I liked about him personally and all this. But um, it that uh, relationship didn't... Um, it, he honestly he was too caught up in it and he would talk about it he would talk about how little he was paid for it and um, I kind of tried to talk about this with somebody but he didn't believe me and anyway so he and I understand some of the it was interest. it was very interesting to be with him because it was finally like I could talk to somebody for the first time and this does happen but it's very rare it's about once every three years that I feel that there's somebody that comes into the scene that will just talk to me about what's going on and um, he was one of those, and that's why. That's why I gave him so many chances, and I felt like he, that's why he made me feel so alone, and yet it, also I felt finally not alone. And um, we talked about two girls that had infiltrated his house. We talked about what they were doing there. We talked about he ultimately didn't care. He would fuck on me either way, but he talked about uh, just things, and we would talk about certain things that went down. He would tell me certain key players, and... Anyways, and so I kind of thought certain people knew about this. I guess not, but what, what, and I've been crying for two days. I, it was so hard for me to feel like I didn't want to have to give up the things that went along with this. But I, I, I don't want to be near the industry. I know I was fighting it at the time. My defenses are really good because I'm very aware of certain things that happen because I write about it, I work on it, we talk about it, da da da. Um, but, um, it was used to get, and this was where I went, I gotta get out. When I tried to kind of explain some of the things that I knew and why I needed to get away from certain characters, certain other people brought those characters more into the light and it causes damage that those some people don't understand. So it's, it, it is actually a situation and becomes way more of a situation. It's not nothing. It's not just, oh, it's just some, something that happened. It's a, a, afraid a lot more complicated than that. Um, and so I... I well, and then when I saw the person embrace, essentially, what he didn't want to throw away about the parts in the industry, um, it was so hard for me, but I had to just draw a line in the sand, because I, not today, Satan, I don't want to, um, I don't want to, this little negotiations for bits of people's soul, I, I'm not down, I don't want to, and I maintain that anybody that maintained innocence, well, they were going through the industry, you did. And even if you had to embrace it, there's, you know, an argument for that and everything. Of course, you know, you have gotten to skull that things happen and, and things are groomed and I don't not understand that. But, um, but you know, it's just important to regain and recuperate your kind of innocence of your soul. And I'm not saying don't be empowered with your sexuality. I'm saying do that. But do that on, on your terms and not yours. And this is a this is children getting groomed into prostitution and others capitalizing on that because they want to. The, this, uh, the whole thing, it was so, I really grieved it super hard for a lot of reasons. Very close to my, very close to my, what I've gone through, um, but in a different, uh, with a different awareness. 
a different level of awareness. Certainly one is very aware as many is not. And um, I'm just, anything that supports any of that, I, I don't, I just, it's not for me. I want to get away from it. So I know that I've been fighting anti-trafficking. That's something that is, that's because that fight is going to be there regardless. But, um, but it is something that I, I don't even want to be infiltrating shit or watching shit anymore or dating people that are infiltrating shit. But I do want someone that's got his head in the game and not going to, you know, there's things, there's ways that things can get infiltrated. And if you don't have um, a wise, uh, the wise people in your life, they can let in um, dangers that they are um, arrogantly unaware of. So, you know, I, this is, I, I grieved very heavily. I in no way didn't feel all of that wishing it, it weren't this way, but people are who they are, and we're going to honor that. Even those in the industry and those that want to support the players of the industry or defend it or not try to take it down or not try to bust it open or hide it or say it's okay or support that, um, they don't have a, a really a place in my life. And I, you can make all the arguments that you want. And this isn't, this is, that's your ethics and that's your where you want to be. But it's simply not the frequency that I want to be at. And I understand we all have callings for what we're brought to do in this life. I don't want to stop fighting this fight, but I also, I, I only want to have partners that are also down to fight this fight, not, not those that are there to um, uphold it and defend it, or certainly choose it or enable it. So, um, this, th I, I got accused of, uh, but that's delusional. I mean, listen, you don't, you only know what you know, but I will say this, that I predicted four moves ahead of, ahead of it happening two months prior, two months prior to uh, someone coming in. I predicted it. I predicted how it would happen. And then I predicted the four moves after, three moves after that, four moves total that I predicted. And then on the other side, I knew that person was going to do X, Y, and Z. They did it. Uh, they did something I didn't quite predict, but I see why they did that. That made more sense than what I was thinking they would do. And then the other thing, um, Yes, it came out mightily, and it actually fucked my shit up. I got, I got robbed, uh, a lot of times, um, and um, and this this girl ended up taking thousands of dollars worth of stuff that I needed to like make rent. So yeah, I've been hurt by these people before, and when people just oh come on in, it's like mm, get on out. <laughs> oh, it's really I. I very upset. It was something I had to let go of yesterday. It's very heavy. It was very heavy for me yesterday to process all of some of the stuff that came up and, and just my angers of the industry and, and also trying to kind of take down my anger from here to, to also go into a reasonable stance of like not all sex, you know, everything is, is labeled evil just because it's in the fringe industry. I know, I know, but I prefer to stay on the clear, on the blurred lines, and I'd really rather be around people who also prefer not to blur those lines.